Hi guys, Joy here. I'm back with this week's minimalist home tour. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi everyone. We will start this week's tour from my living room. And I actually wanted to point out one change that was really small, but they made a huge difference. Now, you can see that my floor is pretty clean. But today is actually not a clean minimalist home tour because usually before whenever I said it's a clean minimalist home tour, I've actually folded away the laundry in this basket. But last time that I did a messy minimalist home tour, you might have seen a pile of laundry that wasn't folded, that was in there, and it was a bit of a mess. And I haven't come up with a system to fix that until this time. Ta-da! So I've actually created a separate container, I guess you could say, but this is obviously a bag. Uh, but that could have easily been another container. Now all the laundry that I've actually done and that's dried, but I don't have the energy to fold yet because I'm one of those people on the days when I don't feel like doing anything, I really can't do anything. And these are clean laundry that's been washed, that's dry, that I'm not ready to fold yet. And I put them away in the back. So I'm actually not having to deal with any mess up here or in the basket along with folded clothes. So all my folded clothes that are organized and done can be put away in there and all the laundry that's done, that's clean but not folded yet can stay in there. So this way, I can always have clean aesthetic without actually having to always be on top of things because like I always say, I am not perfect at all. <laughs> so that's one tip that I really want to share with you guys. And clearly you can see that the laundry rack is empty, which means laundry's being done. So we'll go ahead and seamlessly move into my kitchen. Like I said before, today's minimalism home tour is not a clean minimalist home. So you can see that I still have the dishes. I have this new container because that's actually a kimchi that my mom gave me. Uh, and I've actually eaten all the kimchi. So that was a container that she gave me. I'm going to just go ahead and return it to her when I see her uh, this coming weekend. And over here, nothing much, just Brita and things like that. And down here, I got this box of seaweed from one of my clients today. That was really nice. And there's my trash can and three of my shoes that I actually wear. And down here, I organize a little bit. Um, these are boxing shoes that I'm, I'm not using right now. And the gloves and food trash bag, regular trash bag, um, dish detergent, another bag for work laundry that's being done right now. I put the work laundry in here and take it to work. And dish, uh, clothing detergent, toilet paper, and up here, as usual, guys, there is it's a little bit of a mess, but you can see that I have rice. I need to cook my dinner today. That's my plan. Speaking of dinner, we need to do the fridge tour. See, I forget. Uh, and then just a bunch of miscellaneous items. I put everything in this one cabinet because why not use up the storage space? Just because the storage is in kitchen doesn't mean you have to only store kitchen items, especially if you have small space like me. And we'll just go into the fridge and then we'll go to the bathroom. Uh, up here, ta-da, not much, just a little bit of food trash. I finally took out the huge food trash bag, which I'm very happy about. I might have done the last week, <laughs> can't remember. But you can see I have little more groceries um, because I'm trying to cook today and I got myself more of those uh, pomegranate vinegar thing. I can mix some water in there and then I can, I can make multiple drinks out of that. So that's a very budget-friendly um, way to make some beverages for yourself whenever you feel like drinking something. And over here, we'll move into our bathroom. Now down here, there's nothing much. Um, and up here, also nothing much. Um, and then, you know, I still haven't fixed my shower head. I will get to it. I have to fix that anyways um, before I, if I ever decide to move out and things like that. So, and over here, foam cleanser for my skin and shampoo and conditioner, toothpaste, toothbrush, and this lotion, I'm actually almost out. So this was uh, kind of like a hand cream lotion that I was using. I know it says face cream. This one's from Finland, actually. So if anybody's from Finland, you might recognize the brand. Uh, but I kept this at work for my hand cream. But now that I know I'm almost done with this lotion, which I plan on using up, that's why it's still here. But it would be like this pretty soon. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that. And then once I'm going through that, I'm going to bring another hand lotion or something at work. And if I don't have enough at work, then I'll just buy a new one. But that's what's going on. There's this little face serum. This was a gift from one of my clients as well. That was really sweet. Um, that was the Christmas present and I'm not, I'm finally using it on my face and neck. Little hair roll and things like that. And up here, some items that I don't really use that often are kept up here. Some disinfectant thing for my hand. <laughs> um, and then another, uh, another thing of, um, the uh, Vaseline, but that was actually, one of these was gift from my mom, that's why I have double. Usually if I have double of something, it's probably because someone gave it to me, not because I bought two of something. Because I 
everything's in, within walking distance in Korea. Like there's like so many little stores and convenience stores and things like that within like three to five minute walking distance for me. So it makes no sense for me to stock up on them. So I usually only just buy one item and I go through them. Uh, and if I ever have excess, which does stress me out sometimes, it's because it's a gift. And um, you know, I also try and practice, you know, the art of accepting things um, uh, to an extent. Sometimes I don't like uh, being bombarded with too many items, but yeah, these two I can probably use up pretty quickly. Deodorant, hair brush, and some feminine products. And guys, that's literally it for my minimalism bathroom tour. For my new subscribers, there's mold killing spray and the two scrubbers. Smaller scrubbers for the surface, big scrubbers for the floor. I'm sure many of you already know that. So that actually, you guys, is my minimalist home tour for this week. I hope you guys liked it, and let's just go to the outro. Hi guys, so that was my minimalist home tour. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next week with more videos.